Okay, so as we continue with our work on logarithms and exponential functions, uh, we asked to solve this equation right here, and this is the, a logistic equation. We've done this before. We typically do this by graphing it. So for this example, I want to show you how we can do this uh, without graphing, doing this purely algebraic, using an algebraic method. Okay. So I have uh, x here, and it's the exponent, and it's in the denominator. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by the denominator. So I get 400 equals 150 times 1 plus 95e e to the negative 0 0.6x. Okay. Next up, I can divide both sides by 150. So 40 divided by 150 is uh, 40 over 15, or that's uh, 8 over 3. I'll erase that. So this is 8 over 3 is equal to 1 plus 95e e to the negative 0.6x. Okay. Then I can subtract 1 from both sides. So that gives me 5 thirds is equal to 95e e to the negative 0.6x. Okay. And I'm keeping everything as an exact answer because if you round at every single step, you're going to end up with a rounding error. So you want to keep everything in exact form for as long as you can and until that final step, then type it into a calculator. And that will give you the best estimation that you can possibly get. If you round too many steps, I mean, you can convert this to 2.666. You can convert this to 1.6666. And, but from then on, it's just going to get more and more, um, it's more, it's going to get less and less precise. Okay? So I'm going to divide by 95, or in other words, multiply by 1 over 95, equals e to the negative 0 0.6x. So I'm going to get 5 over 285 equals e to the negative 0 0.6x. Let's, uh, let's reduce this fraction here. So 285 comes out, 5 over 85 comes out to 1 over 57 equals e to the negative 0 0.6x. Now since I have this e here, and I have an exponent with a variable in it, I can just take the natural log of both sides. So if I do that, taking the natural log of both sides, uh, I can bring the exponent out to the front. So I get natural log of 1 over 57 is equal to negative 0.6x natural log of e. And we know that natural log of e is just going to be equal to 1. So this cancels since it's multiplying. And lastly, I get natural log of 1 over 57. And that entire expression divided by negative 0.6x, sorry, 0 0.6 will be equal to x. Okay? And so that's this statement here is what I'm going to type into my calculator. And I've waited as long as I possibly can to use the calculator so I don't get any rounding errors. Again, if you round too many times, you're going to get a rounding a result that's off and it's not precise. So let me get out my calculator. And actually, let's zoom in on this. So this is the natural log of 1 over 57. And then that answer divided by negative 0.6. And that tells me it's about 6.784. Okay, So x is approximately 6.784. Let me start at my final answer here. X is approximately 6.7384. And there you have it. A solution to a logistic function that is solved algebraically 
instead of graphically. You could, I mean, you could also graph uh, if that's your method of choice, but you don't have to.